Promotional consideration paid for by the following. again to quick shot reviews I'm your host the Reverend Luke Edwards and today we're going to be talking about a little movie that has gained a cult following since its um, release um, in well I didn't write a didn't write a year down I believe it's the 80s um, in the height of the first round of uh, slash and stalk teen killing movies kind of thing um, slasher movies would be a better way to put it. Sleepaway Camp, interestingly, found out um, the other day that in the UK it's been changed to Nightmare Vacation. What an awful name. Um, it's no wonder no one knows about this thing if they're changing the blinking name in this country, but it's very much recommended watching. It's got one of the most iconic, and I do mean iconic and weird, endings which I'm not going to go through, obviously, because I'm doing a review and I don't want to spoil it for people, we'll just go and watch it. If you're a horror fan, you need to see this one. Um, it revolves around a summer camp, of course. It's taking after um, Friday the 13th. Of course there's going to be a summer camp. Um, got a 6.3 on IMDb and it was written and directed by Robert... Robert Hiltzik. Um stars Felissa Rose as Angela. Would be the only time she would play Angela. Would be changed to a new um, actress who really um, made the role her own in two and three. Um, Jonathan Tiersten plays Ricky. She, he is the cousin of uh, Angela. And we do follow Angela throughout the films. Uh, Karen Fields Ju uh, plays Judy. Uh, Chris Collett plays Paul. And I think that, that's really all the notable uh, characters. It, it revolves around Angela. Judy is, you know, the popular girl with, you know, she's developed over the summer, so to speak, over over the last year. And all the boys wanted her. There's a lot of swearing in this movie, but. It is the 80s and it is a summer camp movie and it is a horror movie. So if you don't want swearing and gratuitous booby shots, then don't watch it because these films are absolutely ripe with them. And I've just realised what I'm doing with my hands, so I'm just going to move those down there. And we go into the description is Angela Baker. A shy, traumatised young girl, yeah, and everybody else will be traumatised by the end of this film, sent to summer camp with her cousin Ricky. Uh, shortly after her arrival, everyone with sinister motivations and less than honourable intentions gets their comeuppance. What could be happening here? Who knows? Um, and, yeah. I mean, it is a really good reveal. It had me hooked. There's film. There's bits in this film that will make you crease. There's bits that they'll make you go, Ugh! and the, that that trend continues. Um, well, the overarching storyline here is: don't be a douche. Be nice to people, because you never know when they're going to come round with a big knife and stab you. Um, it's also notable here. I mean, they really characterise people. You've got, you know, the hard, you've got the camp leader, you've got the one that's really athletic, and you've got the um, cooks. They're all smelly and horrible and nasty. Uh, and um, paedophiles, let's just say it, they're paedophiles. They're, they're really eccentric, really over-characterised paedophiles. And... Good to know, and I will spoil this for people. 
they get what's coming to them in the nicest possible way. Um, or in the most horrible possible way, whichever way you want to see it. So I'm going to give this a melting creepy cook out of a daft underage camp dance because the thing that all young teenagers at 13 year olds that 13 year old want to do is to go to a dance, a formal dance at a summer camp. Can't think of anything worse. Couldn't think of anything worse now to be honest, but that is Sleepaway Camp or the awful UK name Nightmare Vacation. Um, let's keep it as Sleepaway Camp, it's iconic. The, the, the poster with the knife going through the shoe um, it's just wow every time I see that I'm like yes it's like well we're in quarantine we're in lockdown so what am I going to do I'm going to go and find the sequels and they are coming up straight after this video and we're you know we're not straight after give it a couple of days for something to happen also got some gaming things coming out I found a load of demo discs from PlayStation 2 magazine here in the UK. So I'm playing through, periodically I'm playing through those games and I hope you like those. But if you're a movie buff, keep it locked right here on Cheap Shot Entertainment for quick shot reviews. You are the Cheap Shot Nation. I've been the host, Reverend Luke Edwards, and I will see you next time.